I'm gonna give you some crazy simple tips that are just easier to hit the ball and launch it with the driver with effortless power that's gonna give you the consistency that you want. Now, I want you to just jump more or less as high as you can and just land, okay? There is about the width for your driver. That's as natural as you're gonna get because this is your natural sort of stabilizing balance point. And we want that for maximum distance and control with the longest club in the bag, all right? So that little test of just doing a jump, and see how the feet just gradually sort of move out. Don't think about it too much, but more or less there. You know, you can adjust it a little bit, but that's gonna give you a good baseline to start from, right? Now, as far as ball position goes, we want this off the, the left heel, okay? But we don't want our head too far ahead. As I said, we want the ear to be there. We don't want the hands too far back. We want them hanging pretty naturally more or less like this. They can be back a little bit straighter, not so much like an iron, but we want to make this position as natural as possible. So from here, that's where we have our setup. Now see how my shoulders are tilted, my hips are tilted. It means that I've got a much greater success, chance of success, to be able to have a shallower angle of attack and have a sweeping action and the more you can think about the driver as like a sweep from here almost like pushing it through you're going to get less spin on it you're going to get longer drives and straighter which is pretty cool but there's your setup checkpoint ball position the hips aligned and the head and then we you know we might often just prefer to tuck in the right elbow just a little bit more so the shoulders are just a hair closed but as i said we're just focusing on this sort of position here all right i'm a bit too wide there now if you find you're not quite comfortable in, in how you're setting up just place your hands on the thighs and slide down to your trail side here till you almost touch your knee and that's about where you need to be okay that's the setup and remember, we want this to be dynamic, so we want to always be moving, okay? Always be moving to be able to swing back and forward. Because every drive we want to hit, all we're trying to do is clip that T-peg, and the more precise you can get with that, the more consistent you are going to be with the driver, and it's going to give you more distance. So, you know, it's very easy to hit down too much. It's very easy to sort of even miss it, but the more you can predict Clipping the bottom of this tee with the center of the driver here, the more you know, you're going to be able to predict what type of shot you want to hit and that consistency. So you might have to really understand where your setup needs to be to be able to get that clipping of that tee. You know, that was a little bit deep for what I would have liked. So what would have happened is it would have come up on a slightly better top of the face. So this is really about precision, just so I can clip the top of that tee. That felt a little bit better, even though it flew off. So there's a really nice quick lesson for you that just using the tee peg can improve your driving because we don't want to be striking down. We don't want to be forcing it. We just want to be clipping the bottom of that tee so it makes nice little stripes along your driver. Even DJ's book or Ricky Fowler's book, Jack Nicholas even did it and they hover the driver. It's a really simple way to allow your swing to have a smoother tempo and a gradual takeaway because a lot of you will be too stuck on the bottom and we're dragging the club this way. We're dragging the club there. But if we hover it up, we can now have a smooth takeaway that's gonna give us the angle of attack that we want without restriction and without snatching. So that's all you need to do. You need to set up regularly and just raise the club up a little bit. I want you to feel when you make your backswing, I want you to feel as you make the move back towards the ball, okay? I want you to feel that the arms are just dropping straight down. They're actually making a linear line here. And you think, how's that gonna help me? I'm just gonna dump into the ground. You're not. Well, you're not if you have your intent of releasing the club and rehinging it this way, and your movement and your body is just going to keep turning with, I keep saying effortless, but that is the key. We want it to be effortless. So the drill almost is, you know, we make a nice loose backswing, 
keeping that width, we're dropping the hands down. So I hit the ground, but I'm gonna maintain it and I'm gonna lift back up so I don't hit the ground. So I take it back, hinge, drop, hinge. See that? Just by salvaging myself, not dumping it into the ground here, I'm educating my brain, my body, to just clear out the way. And that's how we're going to get better contact. That's how you're gonna get effortless distances and the consistency that you want. You know, upswing, making sure we get behind it. The reason why we've moved here is because it emphasizes that. And just by striking a tee peg, you can not only practice the type of swing feel that you want, but it's especially if you haven't hit walls beforehand, it kind of gives you a bit of a cheat because you're still striking an object. OK, so we've got the setup position. But if we go back to how you might normally tee up, where it's sort of over the top here, that is going to really encourage me to hit you know, down and into the ball beforehand. So we have to compensate. We're gonna move and follow the slope. I mean, it's not a huge slope, but it's enough to, to really feel it. Most tee boxes will have it. So we've got that up slope. The hips are aligned to it. The shoulders are a little bit more so. I've moved my rib cage down a little bit. So I'm in this dynamic position here. And the idea is that when I make a goal swing now, I won't hit the ground beforehand, I will just hit the tee peg. So as I make my swing, okay, I'm going to strike that tee peg. Now, of course, I'm hanging back a little bit, but that's the idea. We want to be striking on the upswing. We want to still be trying to get through it. And yes, I'm going to come off balance because it's this upslope. And especially with a longer club, that's going to accentuate it. But doing this a few times to really make sure that you're, you know, waiting for it just a little bit more, giving yourself a little bit more time from the top as you swing through. So you're not rushing from the beginning. Very key off the first tee to feel like you're taking it back. Wait and then swing through. OK. You do that, you're going to have a smoother swing, just waiting a little bit more, but you're gonna be striking it on the upswing with the driver. 